Reverend Shuttlesworth had been right. When the movement came to Birmingham, it won a much needed victory and it gained national attention. The next night, the Ku Klux Klan met outside the city and Grand Dragon Robert Shelton gave this opinion of the Birmingham Agreement. No business people in Birmingham or any other city has the authority to attempt any type of negotiation when it deals in governmental affairs with municipality. Uh, Martin Luther King, in my opinion, epitaph can be written here in Birmingham. Several hours later, a bomb exploded outside Martin Luther King's room at the Gaston Motel. King had already left Birmingham, and no one was in the room at the time. As a large crowd gathered, the Alabama State Police moved in and began beating blacks with clubs and rifles. In response, angry blacks rioted and set fire to several buildings. Over the next few weeks, the riots that began in Birmingham spread to other cities. Racial tensions gripped the country, and President Kennedy was moved to action. On June 11th, he took a stronger position than any president since Lincoln, calling civil rights a moral issue. Now the time has come for this nation to fulfill its promise. The events in Birmingham and elsewhere have so increased the cries for equality that no city or state or legislative body can prudently choose to ignore them. The fires of frustration and discord are burning in every city, north and south, where legal remedies are not at hand. Redress is sought in the streets, in demonstrations, parades and protests which create tensions and threaten violence and threaten lives. Next week, I shall ask the Congress of the United States to act, to make a commitment it is not fully made in this century to the proposition that race has no place in American life or law. 